So just a, just a very soft little, you don't need to sort of pinch anything. And then it's just very gently moving it more than anything. Like all, all the fingers and thumbs together. And this little, so it's just a bit of skin movement. So it's a little bit of difference. And if I just come this side, this side of her, her cheek is just, it's all squidgier. Mm -hmm. Squishy, it's less mobile, more mobile, so it's squishy. Mm -hmm. so more, it's more, it's, it's more, more squishy this side, yeah. And this side is the one which is just not right. as free. So just a little. <laughs> Wow, you're doing. But see, one one of the reasons why um, they move their tongue around so much is that they're trying to explore the trigeminal sensation. They're not quite sure where to put the tongue because they're not necessarily getting the same information from the insides of both parts of her muscular mouth. Um, so the the um, suckling is a very self confirmatory thing. If you only suck one way and the muscles think that's the correct way. Uh, so then you have to illustrate, literally, <laughs> you have to literally illustrate physically to them uh, that there, there is a different uh, movement potential sort of through uh, in, in that um, series of tissues so that they then get a different sensory input and then the muscles will say, oh, right, mm -hmm. and start moving it differently. So you have to have the sensation first 